Hey, young world, quick update. I'm supposed to be going walking. It's like 7 a.m. And, um, I don't know what I've been doing. This bed right here, pretty much, I feel like it needs more soil. You see where the gaps and the holes is? I don't think it's going to be, you know, enough soil to do what I needed to do. I put some kale over here um, that I already had. And... Um, it's been raining a lot here, so I haven't gave it enough water over time. Oh, my garlic is coming up. Oh, snap. Oh, look. I got garlic. I'm about to plant more garlic because I was worried that it wasn't working. Um, This bed never got soil. This bed, I'm seeing this for the first time with y'all. Some of the onion has finally started coming up. I don't know what it is. It's too high. It's not deep enough. But this is what made me start gardening. You have to pay attention to these okra. And I know a lot of my gardeners do know that we have to pay attention to these okra. These red okra ain't never, ever been this big before. What am I supposed to do with that? Let it go to seed now? Oh my goodness. And some of the green ones. Look at that. Look at that. So my garden is still producing. This is the watermelon. And as you can see, the watermelon is continue to produce. Uh, we have been just letting it go its own way. Um, I've put a lot of black top down to try to alleviate some of the weeds and just walking. We're not going to grow here. We're just going to um, use this for a walking path to mess with the grapes. Um, I tried to train you before. So these are my long beans with long vines. So that's one of them that's doing very well. Um, the other ones, I can't say they're not doing well. See, it's some pests trying to be pests. Um, those are my two loofah seeds. I can't say they're doing well or not doing well. Um, my two okras, they're very small in there. But I haven't been giving a lot of... Now, look at the watermelon that's coming right there. He don't quit on... Um, this was a bad idea of mine, y'all. And that thing is ready, too. I have to take that down. It's a fig tree, three blueberry trees, and a kumquat tree. Not kumquat. A guava. A guava bush is over here. And I wonder what these flowers was. These flowers are coming from the actual um, sweet potato vine. So I just let them do their thing. But I think this is a bad, I know this is a bad idea putting my flowers, my plants, my fruits right here next to this. I feel like the vines could possibly go choke them out um if you can look at this one right here look how it just wrapped itself around there um pretty much i just wanted to say good morning and do a quick um for anybody who doing eggplant and you just feeding your family and maybe trying to harvest some and can some one plant might just be enough for anybody <laughs> because this one has produced well over 30 to 40 eggplants at a time um, that's an old tomato bush that I didn't take down, and it's got new sprouts. This is um, was kale. I didn't pull the kale out, and I stuck some sweet potato vines in there a little while ago. Um, still haven't did a lot over here. This is my cleanup area. Tomatoes just falling over. We've been over here, tied them up in the past. Um, putting a lot of cardboard down has really helped. Um, these are all pepper plants. I've already harvested off of all of them. These are old tomato plants that are still producing and coming back with some more tomatoes. Um, sunflowers are ready to be cut down. Um, I actually don't know what to do with the stock. So, um, have not paid, um, well, look at that. Cucumbers are dead, just like Fred. Got bush beans. Look at all these different bugs flying out here. Um, bush beans, corn with ants on it. Um, that was my third round of corn, and it has tassels, so that's good. This one is leaning a little bit. Cucumbers that were there are dead. Oh no, you trying to make a comeback? Make a comeback, then, babe. Make a comeback. So yeah, that's another reason why I just didn't snatch all my stuff down. You know, ideally I want to come back and get this ground ready for the fall not fall sorry for the spring but i'm gonna just take my time and see what it do 
Um, I lost another squash plant. These are okra as well. And you can see the flowers are producing. So I'm glad I came down here. I actually got one pop of color. Look at there. And the flowers are, are coming up in my flower bed. And I still do have some types of weeds in here. I moved my compost over here. This is going to now be one of my compost area. These two buckets were too small. So I'm actually going to be doing a turn method over this way. Um, the garbage can situation was just too small. So now I got to put duct tape on all the holes to reuse that again. The cucumbers have died off. Cucumbers have died off. But you guys, I still stuck cucumber seeds in this ground hoping they would come back. So um, I'm not ready to do any cleanup over here as of yet. I'm going to run over here. Cantaloupe. Who knows, that little one that was up there, he dropped off and died. Still producing flowers though. Oh, um, I got my family waiting. Tomatoes still striving. Watermelons, I came over here to see these watermelons. They're popping up everywhere. Next year they will not be right here. Um, and that's it. Oh, muscadines, they are, oh, we gotta step over here. Muscadines are ready to be harvested as well. Uh, when they're brown, like this, look at that. And I have to learn to put them in my mouth without touching my lips because they actually break my mouth out or make my mouth feel bad. So yeah, so we're gonna gotta get out here and harvest as many as we can and um, put them in the freezer because we're gonna be juicing them. And with the juice, get me a little snack, y'all. With the juice, we're gonna take and be, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna be taking, be making juice and we're gonna be making wine. So y'all have a great rest of your day. That's a small update of what we got going out here. Oh, let me get you to my seedlings. I'm gonna push pause. These are my seedlings. All the first seedlings burnt up. I did them in the Jiffy Mix, they did well. I poured them over. They burnt up in the cups. So the next time I started my seeds from the mixture that I was pouring out, and I just put them all here, and I will divide them in time when I feel like they're strong enough to take the transport. Maybe I transported them to a bigger cup too soon and they weren't strong enough, but these time, this time I'm really gonna work on doing it and taking my time doing it. So that's what I'm going with my fall garden and there's all kinds of stuff. Y'all have a great rest of your day.